if you are using Reaper and programming drums, you should really switch from editing in the piano roll to using named notes. And today I want to show you a great feature on midiremap.com, which allows you to download named notes for the most important drum libraries out there at the moment. So I have Get Good Drums P4 Kit loaded up right here in Reaper. And I'm just going to jump to the piano roll. I have a basic part right here. Nothing funny, just basic. Um, so usually you might program drums like this. Okay, this is the kick. I know that somewhere here is the hi-hat tight tip. It's a pain in the ass. Reaper has this concept of named notes. If you switch to this view, you can go here and you can now name, for example, this here. Um, just double right click on Windows. I don't know how to do it on Mac. And you can now name it like kick. Okay, that's great. Now I see this is a kick. And let's name this one snare. Yeah, that's already great. Um, but there's a way faster way. You can use MIDI Remap to simply download the file for you. If you, for example, in this case, have Get Good Drums P4 Help and Kit, and you want to have a named node map, go to MIDIRemap.com, go to Download Drum Maps, and now look for your library, Get Good Drums P4 Map Help and Write. I'm using Reaper, and simply download this file. Head back to Reaper. And Reaper has this great feature of importing named node files. You can go to File, Node CC Names, Load Node CC Names from File. I'm going to choose File, going to Downloads, MIDI Remap, Get Good Drums. And now you can see MIDI Remap did all the naming work for me. And I can do this with any library that's a preset on MIDIRemap.com and save a lot of time. Um, so let's listen to it. Okay, kick is right. Snare is right, high hat tight edge, high tight tip, even those are, are right. But this still isn't perfect for programming drums, I think. So let's optimize Reaper a little bit more. I now have names for all, but what about the notes that aren't mapped in the P4 kit? Let's go to View, Show Height Note Rows, and click Hide Unused and Unnamed Note Rows. So now you only see the note values that are really mapped inside the P4 kit. Another handy feature to make programming drums even more fun inside Reaper is go to view, piano roll notes and choose diamonds. I think this is way more intuitive to program drums with cause also the notes don't have to have a length like in a piano roll editor. Yeah, thank you for watching this video. And if you like this feature, um, go to mediaremap.com, subscribe and download your DAW drum app files. Currently, they're available for Reaper, Cubase, and Studio One, and also as PDF if your DAW doesn't support drum maps at all. Have a nice day, and goodbye.